um, fully intent to not say mood for this, but um, been ill week, so I'm sort of just making really vague lines between poems from my collection and first times. Um, so the first one I've actually got is called Sanctity, and it's it's quite well to write it actually because it was based around the time where they were having the protests in India or across India because it was the first time that women had been allowed into some of their temples and there were religious leaders saying that the law shouldn't be able to dictate what religious temples did uh, and you had women who were having to be escorted into these temples by armed guards in order to be able to go in and worship and this was the um, poem I ended up writing Armoured, escorted, she takes entry of a sacred space. Told to bleed between her legs is a stain that won't come out. Another speaks of crime to only to find punishment on a rooftop when she dares to hold. To become a woman means to be an exile, a cycle turned a curse, proof that this sex is unworthy. Honour becomes a blade against noisy girls who forget their place. Voices rise when ink spills, a drop for the ocean to make her story a rally cry. But it does not bring her back, the doors do not open, dams do not break, only groan a little. Change is always too late for the child burning on a roof, the daughter begging for justice, a girl asking to be a person. One of the other poems in the collection, uh, which if you would like to buy, is launching this Saturday <laughs> here at uh, uh, the Memorial Hall. Um, it's uh, based on my first out with my husband at our wedding, where he was absolutely hammered. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to move it forward in the day because we were genuinely concerned if we left it any longer, he would not be able to stand, never mind dance. <laughs> uh, so, this was the, it's probably the only romantic, like, love, happy love poem I have that I've ever written. So, first dance. The DJ tried passing on pointers and moved your hand along my waist before concluding you a lost cause and beating a hasty retreat to the background of his boot. You, smirking on whiskey and laughter, launched into the music with the same caution as a rally driver coming into the last bend in first place. Witness to all of this, the sparkle of camera phone flashes, our guests watch the spin, and I watch you forget them, like confetti once it's fallen, and the cheers have gone quiet. In the swirls of my dress, your arms kept me upright. Both unsteady, we kept each other's feet beneath each other's heads above. Is that not what it means to be in love? <laughs> to be quite honest, he nearly took me out a couple of times during that dance. <laughs> 